good evening everybody uh, after a beautiful d60 series we again invite sir for a new webinar that is progeny mm -hmm. and we are doing uh, two lovely topics today yes sir yes sir two on on uh, pitru dosha related to putra dosha and a sarpa dosha related to putra dosha yes yeah. so let's begin yeah, just a second. Just to have prayers. Ganana Vampa, Ganabadi Gumhava, Maheka Vimka Vina, Babasravastamam, Jeshtarajam, Brahmanam, Brahmanaspat, Arashan, Vanu, the Pissi, the Sadanam. Preno de Visaras Vadiva Jeder Vajini Vadi, the Rama the Trevadu, and Esha Yamaha, Saraswati Yamaha, Stake with Pyona Maha, Ari Wom, Wom her Babasaha, Smith the very end of God, they were sitting in a picture of the Vaditi, I saw my Mangala and Dasha worshippers, Mr. Alpitu. Oh, this is a very important Pitru Dosha Shivalinga. Okay, before we go in, I'm not going to detail too much into Pitru Dosha. It's a very huge subject, but we'll touch upon it. Many people uh, are not understanding Pitru Dosha correctly. See, Pitru Dosha happens because of two main relations. Pitru's commit, he is correct. I mean, the sense is your family, the lineage which they have born, if they have done good punya, that punya will come to you. If they have not done any punya, or if they have done very bad uh, karma, that will also come to you. So it is very important which family you are born. In case there was too much of negative karma, it definitely will come onto it. So, in fact, that is very difficult to remedy also. So can you say, be a little loud? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. okay. Let me see if I can. Okay. Or oh, if uh, if a particular karma, let's say it's done by uh, for many generations. Since done by many generations, it is very difficult to remedy it. But what is the effect of those results? It is not necessary. It will lead to putra dosha. There is one another particular uh, pitra dosha. That is, there is. It is more more called a preda. It's a preda dosha related to pitra dosha. Somebody in your family, of somebody in your family, it can be previous, uh, even hundred years ago, if they have passed away early death. Uh, bad death, you call uh, what I say, Durmarana, no? You, you are, they have, and they are not crossed over. They are still a spreader and they are still in the physical world. That is another very, this can be remedied. This particular can be remedied. So there are actually two main Pitra Doshas. Okay, cause of, it is not, you have not, you have not performed Srarth, that is why, that is not a, a, that, maybe that could be, but I don't think so. Uh, absence of uh, performing of Sarath will lead to Pitra Dosha. These are the two main, uh, you can see in the horoscope, the uh, second one will have an eighth house connection, the fourth house will have a fifth, ninth house connection. Now, very related, so both of them somewhere can be related to Putra Dosha. So it can be the first one which leads to Putra Dosha or the second one also related to Putra Dosha. We will have to fight. Even, in fact, there are so many combinations for just the first and the second one. I'll just mention the combinations which will lead to, uh, let's say, uh, the afflictions of the ninth house and the sun. Sun and the ninth house are afflicted. Uh, or the sun is particularly afflicted in the fifth. Okay, it, I want to say it activates uh, Pitra Tosha. So somewhere the, if the fifth, the trinal lords are afflicted and sun is somewhere afflicted in the fifth and ninth house, then it is very, very clearly a Pitra Dosha will only lead to Putra. No, no, nothing else. Because sometimes you will see Pitra Dosha you can have health problem, can have longevity problem, marital problem, a profession problem, various other problems or the whole life uh, can, uh, what do you say, uh, can be wasted. That is okay. That each it is not completely Pitru Dosha means every time it has to be held, every time it has to be everything. It the horoscope will relate to which Pitru Dosha will relate to which. So each has a particular combination. Only if every other aspect is uh, weak in the horoscope, a Pitru Dosha will only lead, will lead to every other problem. But usually 
the trinal houses and uh, sun is afflicted. It is a, a combination of a pitra dosha leading to putra dosha. I will like, and it, again, if it is only in D1, you, you cannot call it a serious dosha, it's a mild dosha. You will very clearly see the dosha is in D1 chart. Somewhere it will be indicated in uh, D9 chart. Definitely there will be an affliction in D12 chart. There is no pitra dosha without checking the D12 chart. Pitra dosha is definitely seen. In fact, pitra dosha is only seen in D12 chart. So there is a connection. And the most afflicted planet, why a person uh, it does not get a kid, suffers from a kid or any putra soga is cleanly seen in the subtum. So you will always see the ninth lord or the ninth house or sun being the most afflicted planet in D7 chart, which will clearly show putra dosha bringing about a, a uh, pitra dosha bringing about a problem, which the effect will be putra dosha. So we will just go into example charts. See, this is, uh, I have always taken this chart, even for D60, we had a discussion in the morning regarding this chart. I will just show this chart in a more uh, deeper uh, light. In fact, this chart is also Putra with Sarpa also. But we will see the uh, Pitra aspect of it. Immediately see, okay, this person had five children, four passed away, all were mentally, physically challenged. One of the child is still surviving. The child must be around 40 years, is still surviving. Okay, but the aspect of it is not the affliction. This person, father was very badly, had a very bad death. He was on the road. Two, three days he was on the road. People found him and then he was back. So he was not in a very bad death. A very big identification where, where, where one has Pitra Doshas, two varieties. Father dies early. Father has a bad death. Father goes through financial strains and he passes away. That is a clear cut case of Pitra Dosha. But there, again, all for every time father dies early, it's not Pitra Dosha. Okay, you must understand. But when a father dies early, you can be very sure uh, uh, Pitra Dosha can be there. But if you have to look into the horoscope, every time somebody's father dies very, very early, it will not necessarily, it has to lead to Pitra Dosha. Okay, for this current birth, this ninth house is afflicted. But only if the fifth and ninth are afflicted, the whole Pitru, like the genealogy itself is afflicted. Look at this horoscope. Okay, the ninth lord is in the eighth from the ninth. Okay, sun is in the fifth house in the D1 horoscope. I'm not looking into why uh, the person is not having a having problem with child. It is very vivid in the horoscope. Look at the Navamsa horoscope. Where is the sun? I'm just looking at sun only. Where is the sun placed? Sun is in the sixth house. Ninth lord Saturn is in the eighth house. Okay, then go to the Saptamsa chart. Uh, where is the sun? The, the worst afflicted planet is the sun in the 12th house. Okay. And the D1 uh, uh, ninth Lord Mercury is in a Maragasthana. Naturally, what I say, the, uh, the father is the most important. In Dwada Samsa, sun is sitting in the 8th house. So it's very, very clearly, okay, a Pitputra Dosha can come up. There are many ways, many reasons it can come. Uh, it can be a matru dosh, it can be a, a guru dosh, it can happen, or uh, physical health problems uh, can be there. Next, we'll be seeing sarpa related also. But very, very important, primary of putra dosha, two things very, very important. First, most important thing, it is a pitru dosh. Somewhere the DNA is afflicted. There is a problem in the DNA. Okay, and that because that you are going to have, a, uh, uh, that afflicts the children. Okay, any doubts? Anybody wants to say anything about this? Wants to ask me any doubts in, with this chat? Okay, we'll move to the next one. Okay, I've given the ex example in this. So, okay, see this particular chat. Same, actually, she's a sister. Father had a bad death. In her, she had two children. First ch child is mentally ill. She just passed away very recently, 17 years. I think, I don't know. I just died recently. Must be in her 30s, I think. I'm just 17. Must be 30s, he must have passed away. Second child was born after 17 years. Uh, he is doing well. So, you, uh, see, both are sisters. So, both have, so fathers, uh, what is very related. Father died badly. It's a very big hint of Pitra Dosh. If anybody you want to test what is Pitra Dosh, first main important thing is 
his father was uh, short lived long lived or his grandfather how short lived so that must be the first main test you should ask them father lived well father uh, is very happy but i am only not doing well so i must be having pitr dosh some astrologer says that is not pitr dosh not that's i'm telling again or if father dies early means always not pitr dosh okay but uh, when you look at the horoscope you'll understand see look at the horoscope immediately sun is in the eighth house Fifth Lord in the ninth house and the ninth Lord in a Maragasthana and eighth from Moon. Very clearly, you can you can see a, a, a Pitra Dosh when Sun is afflicted. Go to the Navamsa and see Na, Sun Karga Bhavanasya. Sun is sitting in the uh, ninth house. See in that Saptamsa. Very very clear. Wait, let me come. To, uh, we'll we'll look. Uh, we'll see the Dwada Samsa. Look at the uh, Jupiter is in the twelfth house. Okay. Then uh, where is the ninth lord sitting now? Ninth lord, D1 ninth lord, Shukra is with Rahu and Sun is with Ketu. Okay, and the Dwadasamsa, ninth lord, is in the sixth house. Now we will come to Saptamsa. See which is the most afflicted house in Saptamsa? Sun is in the sixth house. Ninth house, you have Ketu. Where is the ninth lord, Saptams and ninth lord, where it is sitting? It is in the seventh house, Maragastana. So, so what is it? A, a putra dosha, what will be the major outcome? What is the sin or, uh, or the karma which is giving problems related to the child can be seen very clearly in the Saptamsa. It is already will be hinted in the D1 chart, D9 chart. D12 will show the putra dosha. I mean, the pitra dosha it will show, but what will be the outcome of the Pitru dosha is seen very clearly in the Saptam. The worst affliction, the bhava which is the worst afflicted will be the ninth house and the sun. If the ninth house and the sun are seriously afflicted, but you can, you can tell the pitra dosha will lead to problem regarding. Both have similar uh, early death fathers and had problems. The first daughter, she was the worst hit. Second, it got a little milder. Because of the husband's chat, what I say, he was able to get another kid. But from her horoscope, it was very difficult. Okay. Any doubts? Sir, Pitra Dosha is from father lineage only. Uh, from father, see, mostly it is from father's lineage. Sir, in this chart, uh, yes. in D7, hmm. this uh, Mars is uh, the Trikon Adhipati sitting in Kendra yeah. with another Trikon Adhipati. Yes. So it is so, good for it is good for yoga. Okay. But uh, uh, it is not sitting in a Kendra. It is a, you, you must understand for a dual sign, seventh house is a Maragasthana, Badagasthana. So Mars is sitting in a Maragasthana. Yes, that's there. It's sitting hmm. in Mars. Uh, it, only not that. That is only one aspect. Ninth house has Ketu. Okay, yes, nine thousand. Where is sun placed? Sun is in six. Ah, what is it? Oh, you, this is the most important. And sun is not in the sixth. It is squared by Rahu Ketu. A sun in the sixth, you can say it is own house, but it is squared by Rahu Ketu. Yes, yes. Ah, so very, very clearly, the worst afflicted in Saptam. So what is the okay? Where is the ninth lord? D one ninth lord. Where it is in Saptam, sir? It's in eighth house. Ah, so you can see which is the which, which is the worst effect. Then D D seven ninth lord and the D nine uh, D one ninth lord and son are the worst afflicted in Saptamsa. So what will be the outcome of an afflicted Saptamsa? It is pro it will it will affect the progeny. There is one way of saying pending karma. We we'll say pending karma. No, what is mm, it? Yes. What is the sense? If this is a way. What is it? each particular bhava? Which is the worst affliction? That particular bhava will give problems regarding that particular. Uh, Varga chat. If Saptamsa, if, if you see the ninth and sun getting afflicted, uh, it is going Pitru Dosha, which will lead to a bad Putra. You can stretch that role to Navamsa also. But in Navamsa, it will be married life. If it, the same affliction uh, is there in Dasamsa, it will be professional life. So, but we are here talking about Putra Dosha. When there is an, already an affliction in D1, in Navamsa, in Dwadasamsa, in, but that is just an affliction. You have the ninth and afflicted. But what will be the be the bhava which is going to get afflicted? When you can see it very clearly in Saptamsa, that affliction, when you have the ninth and sun afflicted, 
it, it's a pitra dosha. But what will the punishment be? It will be putra related. This is how you find find out. Just one rule. There you, you can see putra dosha for every other aspect. Is it going to affect your longevity? Is it going to affect your health? It going, is, going, is it going to affect your total life, your profession, your finances? That is a different thing. A different way of seeing. For each varga chart, we'll have to say, I'm here, I'm only telling you how to see pitra dosha, which will lead to putra dosha. And you know, Pitra Dosha, both are the fifth and ninth are nothing Bhavat Bhavam of each other. The ninth house is the fifth of the fifth house and, uh, and ninth to it is the fifth house. Both are very related house. So you cannot have, uh, uh, what I say, the most easiest uh, connection to a Pitra Dosh will be a Pitra Dosh. When you do not have the blessings or you have the curses of your forefathers, the first, first important thing which will be afflicted will be your lineage. So sometimes uh, a yeah. person does not get Santan Sukh. Santan Sukh means you don't get um, uh, Sukh from the Santan. You have Santan, mm. but you don't get the Sukh from ah. Santan. That yes. also comes under Putra. Uh, no, 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 not, not necessary. That, so you have many, many, many effects for Santana Show. You will have a lot of, uh, as first no kids, first no kids. Then, okay, you don't have kids, you adopt a kid. That can be there. Then you, what I say, you get a kid, the uh, kid dies early. You can have a problem. Or you have a kid, the kid is unhealthy. You have uh, health-related problems the kid will have. Or the kid is nice, healthy, but it is problematic for you. Then you have illegitimate children. You have having kid thrown eligible or uh, there is three marriages and there is kid through three marriages. There are various ways in the course. I will tell you different, different ways. Delayed children, early children, delayed children. It, uh, it can be a very interesting course. In D60, it was different. It was um, almost uh, uh, every aspect of life was same. So very complex, but this is very, very simple. Only one aspect, one aspect, but seen from various angles. So very, very interesting it will be there. to see. I, 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 uh, Put, uh, progeny will, will be very, very interesting. Very easy to master. When you finish the uh, webinar, you will easily master. You can immediately see uh, what is it, uh, whether there's a uh, person, uh, what kind of, uh, it is Satputra or Putra Sok. Uh, uh, what is the quantity, quality and magnitude of the Putra Dosh or if it is going to be good Putra. Some people will give uh, two celebrities. A chart will show uh, given birth celebrities or some get up which will bring down okay there is this matra dosh and pitra dosh uh, uh, for the for the parent but what happens if it is there for the child the moment what is say a child is born the father will die or the mother will die every divorced mother a mother has divorced what is say when there are two malefics in the child's chart what is say mother uh, the father will be divorced and mother will, will have a Bad married life. So it is a pitra dosh. Dosh. I will tell you uh, how to see all, all these combinations will, will come. Okay. But, Thank okay. you, sir. Okay. okay. Look at this particular chart. Sir, I had one question regarding the uh, D7. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the earlier chart. Hmm. Uh, it's just that uh, I was just wondering ki if Sun is in the sixth house, but it's strong in its own house and Venus being in its own house Libra, mm. uh, aspected by Jupiter. Mm. So uh, just by the houses or the bhava, we take it as afflicted? No, no. That's what I'm saying. They got a kid. The difference is, what I say, I'll show you a kid, but there is no. In these two charts, they got a kid and then what, they went down to suffer because of the kid. Okay. If it is very weak, if it, a planet is in 6, 8, 12 and weak, there is no kids. All right. Okay. That year, the, the chart is what you say, the planet is strong, but it is in a dustana. So there is a kid and there is a putra sok because of it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. See this one. See, this is another case. Early death of father, no kids from two marriages. He married, first marriage, the divorced, and on to marry again. Second marriage, and, and what he says, there's no kiss from that also. Look at this horoscope. Okay, the, the very clearly you can see the horoscope. The fifth house is Rahu, the seventh lord 
the fifth lord is debilitated, so immediately you will know that there is a, a kind of putra dosha. Jupiter becomes a malefic for liberal agna. I've seen many liberal agnas. If there is a mild affliction, is enough for them to what is it, have problems on kids because Jupiter is a bad planet and Jupiter is sitting in an enemy camp. Now, where is Sun sitting now? Sun is sitting in the eighth house. Okay, we we'll move to the Navamsa. Okay, you can see. Okay, in the uh, in fact, in the Navamsa part, what I say, it is not very clear. This person has a Pitru dosh, but you can see there is a Pitru dosh very clearly. Fifth house Rahu uh, sitting on, uh, and Jupiter continues to be in an enemy camp. In fact, his cloud is exalted. Okay, but uh, okay, we'll move to uh, Dwada Samsa and we'll come to Saptamsa. Move to Dwada Samsa. Sun is in the fifth house. See, it is our Gotama chart T1, D9, D7, D12. It's our Gotama chart. So, Badaka Lord Sun sitting in the, uh, in the fifth house. Fifth Lord is in the twelfth house. Fifth Lord always sitting in the fourth house is as bad see, as sitting in, in a six, eight, twelve houses. Okay, and Sun is in the eighth from the moon. So, very clearly. And you can see the ninth Lord, D. 12, 9th Lord, Mercury is Nietzsche in the 6th house. So very clearly the Pitru Dosh is very clearly in the horoscope. Uh, in fact, it is not shown in the Navamsa, but it is it is clear in the D1 chart and the D12 chart. And now move to the Saptamsa chart and look at that Saptamsa. Saptamsa chart, there is no kid, it's very easy because the 5th Lord, uh, it's Nietzsche in D1 and in Navamsa it is in the 12th house and aspected by mass. What is it? Now look at the horoscope. Where is sun? Sun is exalted. It's a Badaka Lord sun, exalted, but in a Maragastana. And sun, there is a Pariyatana between the 7th and 11th, Maragastana and Badagastana. Again, note this horoscope. This is a sort of also an added Sarpadosha also. It's a Sarpadosha. I'll explain about the details about Sarpadosha. It is also added with Sarpadosha is also another reason. But the main reason why this person is uh, not getting a, a kid, it is because of uh, Pitra uh, Dosha, which becomes a Putra Dosha. You can see Sun Abhadaka Lord getting exalted in Saptamsa 7th house is a very severe malefic in the Saptamsa. Others, we saw the ninth Lord becoming weak. Here, you have Sun becoming very strong, but it is a malefic. Sun is a Badaka Lord in D1, D9, D12, continuously. Very strong and very strong in Saptamsa. Very strongly placed in Saptamsa with the Lord sitting in Badaka. Makes it a double strong Badaka. And he ha clearly has his fifth house is also aff afflicted. So you clearly will not have a child. But what is the karma which leads to it? You want to see one more reason why it has to be child? In the Saptamsa chart, the eighth from Saturn is sun sitting now. A planet in the 12th from it or the 8th from it will tell you what is it, the major karma of the person. So what is it? Sun is sitting in the 8th from Saturn, which is nothing but the 5th Lord. Saturn goes to the 12th house and has Sun sitting in the 8th house. So something regarding father-related karma will negate this project. Okay. Actually, I should have, uh, uh, as an introduction, there are a lot of rules for why no kids. There are many other rules. After that, if I explain to you all, okay, the Pitra Dosha, it'll be no. So here, this class, I'm just explaining to you. Okay, just uh, Pitra Dosha alone. I'm not actually even telling you all the fifth, uh, the Putra do, uh, Dosha by itself. Okay, look at this chart. This is just an opposite case. Father died early. He's a posthumous child. Posthumous child is before he was born, uh, father died. But, what do you say? He, he had an early child. So that's, that's what I want to give an example. Just because father dies early doesn't mean it will lead to uh, 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 Putra Dosh. If there are other aspects in the hor horoscope strong, the Pitra Dosh will affect some other way. It need not affect the Putra. He had a very immediately after marriage, immediately got a child. But, but this horoscope has uh, father died. Father died before his birth. So you must understand that father died must be a strong putra dosha. In fact, you cannot see it in the D1 chart. 
very different chart. You cannot see it in the D1 uh, chart at all. It's an exalted. But you look at the Navamsa chart, the ninth house, see the ninth house. Saturn, Mars, Rahu is sitting in the ninth house. And D1, ninth lord, is in the twelfth house. Now, actually, if you go to the uh, Dwada Samsa chart, D1, ninth lord, is in the twelfth house. Okay, now, you know, Saptamsa, you see. What is in the Saptamsa fifth house? Jupiter, Mercury is sitting in the fifth house. Sun is well placed in the substance. Now, yes, ninth Lord Sun in the ninth house. Fifth house is nicely placed. He has Pitra Dosha, but it is not afflict, aff affected as Putra. Subtam, see, this is the key in the Saptamsa. If the fifth house, Sun, ninth house are not afflicted in Saptamsa, the Pitra Dosha will not affect the Putra. In fact, it is blessed. You can see if the fifth house, Jupiter, Mercury sitting on itself, is how blessed is. This can be the strongest Pitru Dosha because father dies even before. Father was father had a suicide. He suicided. So it is very clear that there's a strong Pitru Dosha. But it is not translated into a Putra Dosha. This is a very complex phase, but I'm just giving you five example charts, but each of a different chart for you to understand. Okay, see, there's another very different type of chart. Illegitimate birth. And biological father abandons her and gets a child which is seriously. Okay, you, are, hmm? you understand the thing? She, she is married. When she is married itself, she has a, a connection and she gets a child from an illegal connection. Husband knowing this, there's another child now. She gets she get two children from the normal person because he finds he has an illegal child. He abandons her and he leaves her. Okay, so that's not the case. Now, this girl goes on to get a child and the, the, the baby uh, is very seriously sick from birth. They are unable to move, no sensation, not moving. They're going through Ayurvedic treatment, some improvement. But as far as I know, one, two years, the child is still not giving any reaction. Look at the horoscope. Uh, this can be very difficult to analyze. Sun in the ninth house, a mutual aspect. Both two strong Sun and Saturn in own house are mutually aspecting each other. You have the uh, Marga Lord Mercury sitting in the uh, ninth house. Uh, trying to it is eighth Lord Moon and trying to it is Ketu City. You, know? you may not think uh, there is such strong Pitra Dosha in the Rasi chart, but look at the uh, Navamsa chart. It is uh, uh, further very, very misleading if you, uh, because sun is exalted. Th there are certain charts when sun is very, very strong, father will abandon them. You always think sun has to be initially, but I've seen charts when sun is very, very strong. You can see in Bill Clinton chart, sun is in own house, but at least that chart, sun is in, in the 12th house. When I've seen very strong sun, sun exalted in the ninth house, sun, especially for Dhanur Lagna, ninth house sun, I have seen many, many charts, and it is a strong Pitra Dosha. Very strong sun related to the ninth house. The sun being very strong itself, it's a, you know, it's Karga Bhavanasti, but the Karga Bhavan, an ordinary sun, the ninth will not afflict. But if it's an exalted sun, unexpected by Jupiter, uh, uh, or aspect of a malefic can be a more stronger uh, Pitra Dosha. Anyway, in the norms of the ninth lord is in the eighth house. Okay. And the Chandra, from the Chandra Lagna, the ninth lord is Nietzsche. Okay. Anyway, in the Advada Sams, it's very, very clear. Where is the D1 ninth lord? Where it is in the norms of? It is sitting strongly afflicted with Mas, Rahu, Saturn. So, in the, in the Advada Sams, is very, very clear. Even if you take the D12, uh, ninth lord, is in the eighth from itself under se very severe affliction. Okay, we'll move to Saptamsa. Okay. Saptamsa, for kid, you know, Jupiter sitting Nietzsche, Lagna as a malefic. Okay, where is sun placed? Sun is in the sixth house. Where is the ninth lord? Saptamsa, ninth lord, where? It is Nietzsche. So all the factors for kid, either the D1 ninth lot or the D7 ninth lot or the Karaga are all very seriously afflicted. And the fifth lot. Naturally, you don't just, uh, I'm not only the fifth lot, ninth lot alone, I'm not saying the fifth house also will be afflicted. 
So very, very clearly, where I'm stretching the karma, what is the karma which, which comes here very, very clearly is the, what I say, the, uh, the, the father's curse is coming to the daughter. Or, in fact, this this can be uh, look slightly different. Uh, um, the, uh, the mother's sins are, uh, or I say, as a curse coming to the child. Moon is eighth lord in D1 chart. Moon is Nietzsche in Avamsa. Moon and Saturn are there together in Saptamsa. But the final outcome is what is she has a, a, a very sickly, problematic child from birth. Yes, any doubts? Okay. okay, you can ask me any doubts now. I've finished five charts. It's a very complex field. Okay, first time because many people I have seen when we discuss in Vedic vision itself, Pitra Dosh itself, if people understand, it will give all kinds of problems. No, Pitra Dosh. Depending on the affliction, it can afflict, but it can affect longevity, it can affect health, it can afflict uh, profession, it can, can affect, the most the common, we, we all know, it can affect uh, putra, but not always it will affect putra. It, it is a horoscope analysis. I've showed you an example of a, 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 a person's father who suicided before his birth and still it not affect, he, he has a good progeny. But there are uh, the same uh, father, very clear, anybody's father dies very early, before 15, 20 years of his life. Bad death, suicide, murder, death can be a strong child. It is definitely a Pitra Dosh. But where will this Pitra Dosh, where will it come to? There are very strong remedial issues when father dies badly. A simple test, <clears throat> if you want to know there is Pitra Dosh, ask them how, how your father was, whether whether father is uh, early death or living, doing, father is doing well, Okay, but I am doing bad. That is not Pitra Dosh. Simple test, father must be bad. For any Pitra Dosh test, father must be sickly, what I say, in jail, died, very bad health, suffering very bad from... The, you, I have a person who uh, till 50 years, his father is sick, is always in bed. It's a Pitra Dosh. He is not unable to, uh, to earn. So this uh, boy has to go and earn very early. He had to leave his schooling. He was doing very good cricket. He would have been in, uh, playing very cricket. He had to stop everything and come back to work because father became sick. It was a chart with Kumbha, uh, uh, Mithuna Lakna with Saturn, ninth lord in the ninth and son also in this very, very strong place. Father never died. Father was alive, but was waste for him. He was sick all the time. So that is a different type of uh, uh, Pitra Dosh, and he never got married. And what is he, I know, uh, his sister is a twin sister. She uh, she got married. She never had a kid. His elder sister uh, got married, two children, uh, but divorced very early. So somewhere I know how the Pitra Dosh uh, is. Somewhere it still works in different ways. So the Pitra Dosha can work in different ways. Here I'm just explaining. In Saptam Sachat, when you see the ninth lord and son, seriously afflicted, apart from the fifth house affliction, a Pitru Dosha will, the outcome of it will be uh, what I say, uh, Putra Soka. Okay, there are, so what I say, in the class, we, there, there are different remedial measures. This, see, the remedial measures also differs. But you cannot say the same remedial measures for all the Pitru Dosha. When it is related to Pitru, uh, put, uh, when the outcome is related to Putra, it is different. It is simple. Always it is uh, Tilahoma or, or if it is Narayana Bali, always you don't give it standardly. It will change accordingly to the planetary combination and what is the outcome of a dosha, what is, you, will, you will understand. So it is very important. Uh, putra dosha itself can be different, different types. So one of them, the most important gleaning and uh, 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 can be something to do when there is a strong uh, Pitra Dosha in the horse. Yeah. Any other doubts? Anybody was asking? Everybody. Sir, D12 is your paternal lineage. So Pitra Dosha is only seen through paternal lineage. How does a maternal lineage affect? Uh, 
even the detail is a very difficult. It's not just paternal, maternal. Many other arishtams in the horoscope can also be seen from it. That is a separate, very uh, big secret of, about how to understand detail. But here, you can definitely see if you have a uh, son afflicted in uh, D12 or the D1 ninth lord or the ninth lord of D12 under affliction, there is a clear uh, Pitradosh, you can see. One very clear indication. Definitely, uh, a Pitradosh must be seen in D1 and D12. There is no, without D12, you, uh, there is no seeing Pitradosh. Pitradosh is incomplete without, when you do not analyze the uh, D12 chart. Because it is the it is the chart of the twelfth house, pending karma D12 and D60 are the most important for the charts to be seen. A little bit in the D1 chart, then in the D1, what karma you have to repay? The major karmic uh, uh, retribution which you have to see is uh, it is in the D12 and D60. D1 will give you a hint. There is a connection, very strong connection between D1, D12, and D60. Okay, but, and by affliction, you mean uh, just it's enough for these uh, ninth lord and the son to be in the sixth, eight, twelve houses. You, you, you can have, if, even if you have a malefic in D12 Lagna, there's an affliction. Okay, okay. I, I'll try to do a separate video for D12 alone. Okay. Yeah. Any other doubts? Ma'am, you're, you're, you're muted, ma'am. Any other doubts? Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, everybody.